Originally from Iran, Puna pursued a degree in chemical engineering before discovering her passion for tech. Her journey led her to 42 Wolfsburg, where she learned how to code. Today, she's a back-end developer at Delivery Hero in Berlin. Let's dive into her story. What inspired you to pursue a career in tech, and how did this journey lead you to 42 Wolfsburg? Yeah, so when I decided to change my career path because I was not satisfied in my old job because I couldn't learn anything, I thought that, uh, okay, tech is the biggest thing right now. It's actually impacting uh, our world. I, I can see that and it's uh, growing. It's really growing and it's fast. So probably I can learn something there and I can also contribute to solving some problems. So yeah, I, I saw that tech is um, impacting the whole world by addressing problems and it thought okay let's let's go give it a try um and how i came across 42 i guess um i was i was looking for a python course and um i just saw so many boot camps and everything but at some point some um app came along in instagram and um i said to myself that sounds interesting and I uh, decided to give it a try, but I was so skeptical because I thought like, what is it without any teachers, professors? Like, what, it, what is this? And uh, until the PC, I was a skeptical. I was just, I am giving it a try and uh, I'm not making any decision. But when I came to the campus and I saw the, like the attitude, the culture, and the projects, like how it's uh, provided in a like in a, a pass, I uh, decided that yes, I want to uh, be here and study here. T Systems bridge the gap between what you learned at 42 and working in a real world software development environment. Yeah, uh, my internship at T Systems helped me a lot because the thing that I learned at 42, they were like coding and uh, like the wiring of my brain were made to work like a coder developer. But when I joined uh, in, a, in a real company, real project, I saw that yeah, there are lots of tools and technologies that I don't know, like monitoring and observability, testing, I don't know, cloud, lots of stuff that I didn't know. And I had that opportunity to learn them at T-Systems and that helped me a lot in my current uh, career. And I'm really thankful for all of the opportunities that I had. What's been the most rewarding aspect of your current role as a backend developer at Delivery Hero? And how do you see the skills from 42 and your internship playing into your success? Um, so as a backend developer, you need to, like there are certain things that you need to do but the, the, you don't know them uh, necessarily. The thing that I learned at 42 is that it doesn't matter that you don't know, you can learn. Um, like when I went to my first job as a developer, I just understood that like every ticket that is assigned to me, every task, it's just like another subject file, another project that I had in 42. Like I exactly remember that at 42 when I wanted to start a project and uh, I read the subject file for the first time, I had no clue what is it about or what should I do. Like everything seemed so scripted for me in the first sight. But, uh, but I eventually did that project and finish it and I, I could yeah, like study and uh, research and like do it in the end and uh, nowadays when I like when I'm given a task that I have no idea of how to do it or what is it about I just think that it's uh, another project of 42 another subject file so that's really helpful uh, from 42. As someone who switched careers and successfully navigated this journey what advice would you give to others considering 42 especially those from non-tech backgrounds? I would say don't panic and uh, embrace your learning curve. Looking back at your time at 42 Wolfsburg, is there a specific project, moment, or challenge that stands out as pivotal in shaping your technical or personal growth? Yeah, so I could say a lot of things because I learned a lot of things. I did not have any technical background as a developer when I joined 42. Uh, I didn't code much before. Um, so yeah, low level programming, uh, like uh, two object oriented programming, two high level programming, uh, 
backend, front end. Uh, I don't know. Like lots of lots of technologies I can say, but I would say one thing, and that is uh, approach to something that you don't know. Like you don't know how to uh, like uh, you don't know how to solve a problem, and it's completely new for you. So before 42, I would uh, get scared of such thing. I would not put myself in that situation. But uh, after 42, I felt confident that, yeah, okay, whatever that is, uh, I can probably like educate myself about it and I can solve it probably and I can do something about it. So, yeah.